welcome, welcome. Another day of an amazing routine for you to do. Okay, so anything that you can't do today, please modify it, take it back if you need to, depending on what kind of day that you're having. Okay, so not every day you're going to feel as flexible as you did the day before, so it doesn't really matter. Go with what you've got today. Starting on your back, feet underneath the knees, tilt the pelvis and roll yourself up into a shoulder bridge position. Reach through the knees, abdominals are strong and the ribs slightly softer and lower than your hips. Open up the shoulders and roll yourself down. And again, rolling up. Looking beyond the knees, you're not looking behind the head. Relaxing the toes. And then rolling down. And again and again, rolling up. Reach through the knees. Hips are level when you call. So we're going to do five of these. So holding up here for about ten seconds. Just get the glutes working, squeezing the glutes together. And last one. And then release. Place the feet and the knees together. Drop the knees to one side. Turn the head in the opposite direction. Come back to centre. Switch sides. Come back to centre. This time when you drop the knees over, take the hands with you. Roll yourself over onto your side. Reach out your hand long. Lift up the top leg to about waist or hip height and let the bottom leg come up to meet it. Both legs squeeze together, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze the calves. Come back down and again lift. Come back down and again we're going five. Now your hand can be here on your waist so you can feel the strength the muscles here contracting as you lift and lower the legs and your obliques. Slide, slide your shoulders down your back, slide your shoulders, very difficult to say. Slide your shoulders down your back. Two more. Coming in for the last one. And release. Now you can stay in this position with your head down here, or you can come up here with your hand rest, your head rested in your hand. Okay, which creates this space here. So we're reducing the amount of support now that you have. So it's going to make it a bit trickier. Hand, the other hand comes up here, so we're kind of creating this double triangle effect. Lift that top leg, we're going to go into the side kick. Push through the heel so you get a good stretch and length from the hip. Now breathe in, take that leg forward. Point the toe, breathe out, come back. So you're trying not to arch the back, so drop the ribs down towards your hips. Breathe in, come forward, don't tuck under, that's cheating. Breathe out, come back. So we're going for five. If you want to lift the bottom leg off the floor a little bit, just challenge your balance. Two more. Try and keep the same height of that leg throughout. Don't let it drop. That's cheating as well. No cheating going on here today. Very good on that side. Not bad. Let's see how we do on the other side. But before we do that, roll over onto your front, on your elbows. Now think about your sternum, where your chest bone is. Push the sternum up towards the middle of the shoulders. As if someone's got their hand between your shoulder blades and you're pushing the bra line, the heart line, towards the, towards the ceiling. Shoulders are back and open. Squeeze the glutes so you tuck under slightly. Pull the abs off the floor and towards your ribs. One leg, bend the knee. Two kicks. One, two. And release. Change legs. Kick, kick. And release. And again. So we're going to do three on each side. If you wish, the leg doesn't touch the floor as you come back. That makes it a bit trickier. Watch what your shoulders are doing. And release, coming down, hands onto your lower back, palm on top of palm, turn the head in one direction, let your shoulders and your elbows drop, legs together, bend the knees, squeeze the glutes so the pelvis is on the floor, the front of the pelvis and the hips, pull the abs in, two kicks, one, two, reach the legs away, reach the arms away, open up the chest, turn the head to the other side, drop the hands to the lower back, drop the elbows, kick, kick. Open up the chest, other side, turn the head, kick, kick, reach long with the fingers, opening up the chest, reach long with the fingers towards the feet, other side, drop the elbows, one, two, and open, one more on each side, 
minimal movement in the hips, squeeze those glutes and release the hands, come up into child's pose, take it back, stretching out that lower back, roll yourself up and we'll do the side leg lifts on the other side. <clears throat> okay, lying out long, head resting on your arm, remember you've got that rolled up towel if you need it underneath your head. Okay, one leg lifts, bottom leg comes up to meet it, hold it steady, come back down and again the lift, we're going for five and release and lift, everything support in and up into your ribs and release and lift, drop the shoulders and release and lift, drop, Ooh, stay in that nice long line and release, last one, lift and come back down, coming up onto your hands and the hand comes up here, creating those two triangles and that space underneath. Remember, if that's too tricky for you, stay down here today. You can practice this another day if you need to. Flex the foot. Okay, breathe in, kick forward. Breathe out, come back. Oh, a bit harder on this side. And again, we're going to do five repetitions. Watch you're not coming forward with the body. So push the tailbone back that way so you crease from the hip. The ribs stay down towards your hips so you're not collapsing into the ribs. <laughs> she says. It's just said than done. There you go, there's your five repetitions. Come back. Lying back on your front again, take the arms out in front of you, going into swimming in the prone position. Now the head stays off the floor if you can. If you find that tricky, you can get a little um, towel and put your forehead on the towel. Slide the shoulders back, right arm and left leg, float them off the floor, breathe in, come back down, exhale, change sides, breathe in, come back down. And again, so the idea is not to, not to twist the pelvis from side to side, keep the shoulders down. Now to make it a little bit more challenging, the arms and the legs don't touch the floor as you move. That's up to you, they can if you want to, they don't have to. Try and lose the elbow so you really get into the shoulders. Abs are off the floor. Keep that tailbone long towards your feet. Last one on each side. Hands come back towards the waist. Push yourself up. Come back into that child's pose position. Releasing the back. And your knees will crack as well. Mine always do that. You okay? Roll yourself up onto your hands and knees. Little cat stretch. And we'll do three of these rolling through the spine. And then bring those hands out in front, <coughs> bring the chest forward so you're in a half plank <coughs> excuse me, position, holding it here. If you find that tricky on the wrists, come down onto your elbows. And if you want to hold it here, that's fine. If you want to take it further, tuck the toes back on each side and hold that plank position. Keeping a nice long line, shoulders to hips to the feet. Drawing the shoulders back. Hold it steady for another five, four, three, two, one. Release the knees, come back into child's pose. Roll yourself up, and we do exactly the same thing, but on our front. Okay, so front plank. Adjust everything. Hands come back. Itch your nose. <laughs> Make sure you're okay to go. Okay, so we're going to have the legs together. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the knees and the calves. Open up the shoulders. Open up the collarbone. So the shoulders, the arms go out the sides of your body. They're not here in the front. Okay, so we're hinging from the hip again, use your glutes, going up into hip extension, lifting. Hold it steady. Now if you need to, you can come up and down, nice and easy, just like that. No problem, otherwise hold it here. Just like your ski slope from shoulders to toes. Hold it here for another five, four, three, two. One, come back down. Tuck your knees in towards your chest. Just slouch into the back a little bit and then lift the chest. 
and again slouching into the back and lifting the chest and one more. Coming back up to your sitting position, take the hands underneath the knees and just pick up the feet. So we're coming into her balance. Your arms are taking the weight of your legs, lifting the chest and dropping the shoulders. Pick up one leg and release it, other side and release it. So nice and easy, just lifting the leg, no cramping or, or um, gripping going on in the quads. Just allow the legs to drop back into the hip sockets. Now we're going to lift up one leg and hold it there, lift up the other one and hold it there, and then very slowly allow the hands to release away the weight of the legs, very slowly, holding it steady here, lifting the chest so you're not slumping into the back, dropping the shoulders. When you need to, when you start to feel gripping going on in the quads, hands come back, release the weight of the legs, stretch them out if you need to, especially if they're cramping and taking over. We'll do that one more time, coming up, coming up with one leg, coming up with the other, make sure your back is nice and long, you're not lifting the head up here and not jutting the chin forward, so the ears are just above your shoulders, very slowly take the hands away, now if you want to make it a bit trickier, lift the arms and release, and then straighten the legs and release, lift the arms and release. Straighten the legs and release. Are you laughing? Lift the arms and release. Straighten the legs and release. Well done. Let those legs go. Shake them out. Come to the front of your mat, holding onto the shins. Go back into your rolling exercise. Coming back up and again, releasing. Want to make it trickier or more challenging, release the hands and do three more. Last one. Coming back up to sitting. Take your feet over to one side, holding onto the ankle and reach over for a mermaid stretch. Really get into the obliques and into the QL, the quadratus lumborum, into your lower back. Reach forward on a diagonal, coming back with the shoulder and release, taking it over to the other side and come back. Change the legs over onto the other side, holding onto the top ankle, reaching over. Just breathe into the side, into the ribs and then reaching forward and then bring that shoulder back and release, releasing the hand, taking it overhead, softening the elbows and then coming back to centre, roll the shoulders, about five in each direction, taking the hands up towards the ceiling, grabbing hold of the wrist, pushing away, reaching over, pushing the sit bones into the floor, Changing sides, reach and stretch. Coming back to centre, lift the chest, open up the arms, shake out the wrists, and a circle the hands around in one direction, and then come back the other way and shake them out, like you're shaking water off them. Well done, another day done. So if you get time, repeat it. If not, don't worry, and you can have another challenge tomorrow. So I hope to see you then. Thank you for joining me today. Take care.